Today we're going to continue our series of looking at effects with acoustic guitars and we will be exploring the world of chorus, so stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our spring store linked in the description below for our custom t-shirts. So today we are continuing our series talking about how to utilize effects pedals or even effects on an amplifier with your acoustic guitar when amplifying your acoustic guitar. Effects brings a lot to the table. It can boost your creativity. It can bring a lot of texture and space. And we've had some, uh, some fun along the way looking at delay, looking at reverb, looking at those together with kind of a wet and dry mix with uh, amplifiers. And so today we wanna to dive into chorus. But I want to talk a little bit about what chorus is, first of all, because I think a lot of people fail to understand. Maybe they get what the sound is, but not necessarily what's happening. And if you understand what's happening, it helps you to kind of dial in that sound. For this, we're going to be utilizing this a Furch uh, Violet Guitar, uh, going through a Strymon Ola. Uh, so Ola to all of y'all today and uh, into this Fender Acoustic Go. Now this actually has chorus and vibrato, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to be using the chorus effect. So what is a chorus effect? Well, the name, what it does is actually in the name. And if you understand what the effect is, comes from, this kind of makes a lot of sense. Effectively, the effect, you like that, uh, is having multiple sounds that are just a little bit off from one another. And this happens from both a intonation standpoint, which means the frequencies are very slightly modified, and also from a timing standpoint. And so the effect is electronically captured by taking a sound and changing its pitch just slightly and delaying it just slightly. And what that does when stacked with the original sound is it creates this bit of a warble or a wave and it can be very, very beautiful. You've actually heard this sound naturally repeatedly over and over and over. Every choir in the world when they sing has this sound. That's why the effect is called chorus. Ah, makes sense now? Yeah. So when you have a choir of people all singing their different parts, you've got uh, multiple people on multiple parts, and as they're singing, their voices, even though they're singing the same pitch, are going to be slightly different. Their voice is different. When they're hitting it is going to be slightly different. And those changes and, and what's happening from a sound wave standpoint all creates some beauty. Now, in the extreme of this, you can have dissonance. And you've heard dissonance if you've ever seen a horror movie. It's basically where you have two notes that don't go together like this. And you hear that wave in the sound. That is dissonance. Chorus is doing that, but to a much lesser extent, because instead of having the notes completely off, like in this particular case, I'm playing effectively a B flat with an A, so those are different notes that aren't in harmony with one another, creating a dissonant sound. Instead, what a chorus does is it takes like an A and an A, or a D and a D, and it just changes one of those slightly. So it'd be kind of like this, hitting a D and a D. Those are on the same pitch, and changing one of them slightly. And as I bend that note, you can hear the effect to a greater or to a lesser extent. The more out of pitch something is, the more you're going to hear these waves. In fact, if you ever tune a guitar like I just was, the way that your ear is tuning those pitches together is by listening to these waves. And when the waves between the two notes are gone, it's the exact same pitch. So chorus is introducing using time-based effects, which is delay, and using pitch correction or change, uh, introducing this wave in the sound to a greater or lesser extent. And so we're adjusting that on even the most basic chorus pedal with speed and depth. 
What it does when you are introducing it electronically is it, it's not exactly replicating what happens in a choir or also this happens with like an orchestra. You have you know, 50 violins, they're all going to kind of be a little bit off, but pretty close and it creates this chorus effect. Electronically, it's kind of going along these same lines. It's not an exact replication, but it's pretty close and it creates a texture to our sound. For acoustic guitar, you can utilize this when strumming. You can also use a lot, utilize it with finger picking. I think when it's strumming, it's really adding a lot. It almost sounds like the, the sound you get with a 12 string, but without the higher octave that you'd get from those octave strings. So to demonstrate this for you, I'm gonna bring up the volume on this pickup. This is using a uh, LR Bags Element Stage Pro, by the way, with a preamp on the side. And I have this dialed up with a lot of speed and a lot of depth, which basically means when I turn this on, this is going to be a lot of chorus for the purpose of you getting the point of what it's doing. I, w I don't necessarily recommend <laughs> that you have this much chorus dialed in unless you're specifically looking to do it uh, from an effect standpoint, like you want that sound. But here's what it sounds like. Clean, and then I'll, I'll turn on the pedal. <laughs> when you have a really heavy chorus like that, there's definitely a black hole sun aspect to what's going on. And again, you can use it with that much effect if you're wanting specifically that much of a modulated sound. But where most people are going to utilize this in their signal chain is with a much more dialed down, very subtle use. And so let me do that for you. To do that, we're gonna bring down, actually, I'm going to leave the depth up I'm gonna dial back the speed, and that's basically the speed of the wave. And by doing that, by making the wave kind of less fast, what we're doing is we're actually bringing the pitch a little closer together. And so this is what it sounds like, clean, and then I'll add the effect. I'm going to actually adjust the speed knob so you can hear while I'm playing. Now to demonstrate what the depth does, I'm actually gonna turn the speed up a bit because after about the 12 o'clock, around the one o'clock position, you can really hear what's going on with it. And I'm going to bring the depth up and down so you can, again, get an idea of what the effect is doing to your sound. All right, so now you have an idea of what the effect is effectively is doing and, and how kind of grandiose it can be, how spacey it could be. Um, kind of does remind you of some 50s sci-fi effects, doesn't it? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dial back both of these. So I'm gonna put the speed and the depth uh, both at about the 11 o'clock position. And for, if you're just strumming by yourself, this is actually what I would kind of recommend doing to get started because it's a nice effect, it's very subtle, but it's adding a lot of texture. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna start with it on and then I'll turn it off and then I'll come back onto it.
So what you can hear is you can dial this in to varying you know, extents and even something that's very subtle, speed very low, depth very low, not very much dialed into the mix, you can have an effect that adds a lot of texture and really just expands your sound and makes it more beautiful than just the clean tone on its own. Chorus, I find, has fallen out of favor a lot. Now, I know with the electric guitar community, it's kind of coming back. It was a sound that was is often associated with like the 80s rock sound, and John Mayer's latest like sub rock album has really showed how it can be beautiful when utilized with your guitar. Um, some of my favorite guitarists, I'll name Phil Keggy, often has used it. Um, you know, and it's, it adds a lot of depth to what you're doing with your tone. So I would highly recommend it. As we've been talking about this, the whole idea of utilizing effects with your acoustic guitar is to bring texture, depth, fun, and creativity to the mix. So if you're looking for pedals to add to your signal chain, definitely take a look at adding a chorus. And then you'll end up with a beautiful choir of sound when it's just you or when it's you playing with a group. So that's my extent on it. If you have any questions about utilizing a chorus, which chorus pedals are best for certain applications, we can answer those things for you. Go to our website, alamomusic.com. You can chat with an associate live there um, and ask any questions, and we can actually help you figure out which pedals would probably work best for your setup, for what you're trying to accomplish, and even how you need to set up those pedals in a signal chain. We'll be covering that in depth in a future video, but I'll just let you know right now, that is also an important aspect of doing this. So effects with guitar, thumbs up, lots of fun. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you like our videos. And if you'd like to become an Alamo Music Insider, find out what that means, check out in the description below, link to our Patreon page, learn more, and think about becoming that. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching, and remember, the very best guitar in the world is the one that you are having fun with effects on and playing. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.